What is going on everybody? Welcome to Sounds Nerdy. We are at CES in Samsung's booth checking out the Galaxy Book 5 Pro and the Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360. Now the naming is probably a little bit confusing as these are just iterative updates to the 5 that was released late last year. But before we dive into all the information about this, if you're new to the channel and enjoy staying up to date with the latest tech news, please do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and hit that like button as well. All right, let's dive into this information. So what's featured about both of these are they both are featuring the newest Intel Arrow Lake Core processor. These are the new chips that were announced by Intel recently. Now, both of these have 47 tops on board. Now these PCs are built with AI in mind. And they will support a range of features on the Samsung books such as AI Select and Photo Remaster. We'll get into those a little bit later. Now the MPUs that are on board can be leveraged by other third-party applications to perform specific AI tasks. So the Galaxy Book 5 Pro and the Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360 do share a lot with their previous iterations but a refresh, updating the internals, is something that I'm sure the Galaxy Book fans out there are looking forward to. Now, at the show, Samsung is showcasing a couple of new AI features called AI Select and Photo Remaster. So first off, let's talk about AI Select. So pretty similar to Circle to Search, which you have on your Galaxy devices, that if you pull up an item with your S Pen and then you tap on it, uh, you hit the AI select feature and it will go out there and it will search and bring back relevant information about what that picture is. So pretty neat if you want to just figure out what a picture is and you don't have to actually go hunt down and try to do a reverse image search. Just use AI select and that will get that done for you. For the remaster is basically the AI will take a picture and just enhance the visuals for it, making it a lot clearer and better for you. Now, let's take a look at the specs of these real quick. Uh, again, like I said, they both feature the Intel Core Ultra 7. Uh, they both have the Intel Arc graphics card. Uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM with these. So that is the DDR5. So uh, it's not the 32 gigabytes that a lot of people are hoping for, but you know we can all hope and wish. Uh, up to one terabyte of storage. The Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360 is a 16 inch, while the Galaxy Book 5 Pro is a 14 inch. Now, they both are 3K monitors with uh, 500 nits of brightness, 120 hertz uh, variable refresh rate, and of course, 120% of the DCI-P3 color spectrum. Uh, the ports are pretty much the same as before again, two Thunderbolt 4s, USB-A, micro SD slot, and HDMI 2.1. Those that were hoping for a larger micro SD or a larger SD slot, and you're not going to get that this year. And the 16 inch features a 76.1 watt hour battery, while the 14 inch is a 68.1 watt hour battery. So that is pretty much all the specs for the Galaxy Book 5 lineup. Uh, no pricing information was announced at the show. Now these books are expected to ship in February. So just about a month or so you will be able to get your hands on that. But let me know down in the comment section if these updates are enough for you. Thank you once again for taking time out to watch this video. Again, if you are new to this channel and enjoy saying up to the whoop that is tech news, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and hit that like button as well. And until next video guys, stay nerdy.